Uh, we're going to start with Snoop Dogg's apology to Gail King. I mean, if it was really considered an apology. So, of course, we are all aware of the Gail King interview that occurred with Lisa Leslie, where she was asking Lisa Leslie questions that a lot of Kobe fans and people who miss him and have a reverence for his legacy thought the questions were out of line and offensive. They centered around his 2003-2004 uh, sexual assault case where he was exonerated. The case happened, to, you know, over 10 years ago. Yep. And so... The last time I checked on the case, right, which was during that time, was that mm -hmm. the girl lied and um, he was just caught being, you know, a ring finger thought. And this is why I kind of break because it's like this revisionist history is where you're alleging and accusing for someone of doing something they never did in the first place. Mm hmm. And then bringing it up after they're dead. There was an infidelity that happened where he had to go and buy his wife a $4 million a, a ring. purple, I remember that Yeah, ring, yes. and then be at a press conference in the middle of the NBA season and apologize and yeah. break down and see him at a very, like, vulnerable um, moment, right? That's fine. I'm not, like, I'm Get not that. tripping over, like, the infidelity because, you know, black men do cheat. The part that <sighs> I'm getting to is, like, how out of line Gail was. I don't think he was super out of line. Gail? Yeah. Talk to me. I don't think it was super out of line because if you're going to talk about somebody's legacy, if you're going to talk mm -hmm. about the things that were in the news about them, the things that were publicized really, mm -hmm. um, really ferociously, mm -hmm. you can you can ask that question. And a lot of people think it's offensive to the family, to Vanessa, to his to his girls. I don't even feel like in the space that they're in right now that that type of shit even reaches that level it even reaches there and i mean there's nothing that you're gonna like you know talk to vanessa about or talk to his babies about that are gonna change their view on who this man was right nothing you're gonna say to his friends and people that were with him every day like lisa leslie mm -hmm. who stood up for him and did an amazing job responding to those questions amazing and change how people feel about him you're not dragging his name through the mud it's it happened there were questions about it questions came up about it last year when he won his oscar Mm -hmm. And people were talking about, you know, Hollywood and the Me Too movement. And if it was appropriate that we were giving Kobe all this praise, given these accusations that occurred a decade ago. I mean, the only thing that was kind of uncomfortable was Gail, like, pushing the issue after right. Lisa Leslie's initial responses. Right. That's the only thing that kind of makes you a little queasy. Mm -hmm. But as, as, as a person that's asking questions and trying to get people's feelings on certain situations and try to get to the bottom of shit and see how people feel. Was she feel. really trying to get to the bottom of shit? I, I think or was she, she was trying to like, like muddy his... Like, I don't think like, she was like, trying like, to muddy his... To like drag his name through the mud. I don't. I think it was a question. I think when you go... I think when people go into ask questions and go into interview people, you have to think to yourself like, what are some things that if I don't ask, people are going to have questions about? And there are some people who are going to watch Gail King sitting down with somebody who was really tight with Kobe Bryant the way Lisa Leslie mm -hmm. was, and they're going to talk about legacy. Right. And there are some people that are going to watch that episode or, or watch that interview on YouTube and think, well, this was a part of his legacy and nobody's asked that question. No one's bringing it up. Exactly. And since his death, like we've seen, at least I've seen on social media, really offensive ways that has been brought up like really crass harsh insensitive ways that that's been mm -hmm. brought up and i don't think gail asking that question falls into that category when i watched the interview when i watched her ask the questions i feel like she i didn't think she was trying to get to the bottom of anything i just think she just wanted to be messy i don't think she, she wanted to be messy i think she wanted to know from she, a person she, that's no, close because, to her because you said you say like yo you're a good friend and then you say well you don't know him like that. Yeah, that was... And that's, so make up your mind. Which yeah, one is it? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, what are you doing right now? What is your agenda right now? Because everyone has an agenda, right? You, your, your best friend, all of you have agendas. Snoop's reaction. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. Which is what we're talking about. Um, I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying I understand because... Okay. One... It has been three sixty, um, less than three hundred sixty five days since they lost Nipsey. He lost um, his grandson, so death is sensitive to um, to him at this time. To absolutely. him at this time, and of course, you know, L.A. So he knows Kobe. Mm -hmm. He's been courtside many times. So um, not to defend him, but just to, to try to understand what is going on. The way he pops off, 
you know, the old Snoop came out and was just like, okay, I get it. Now, in my right mind, I know Snoop is not coming after no 70-year-old woman. Of course not. Right? Other people might get excited about it, right? But we know, like, hip-hop has, like, this duality, right? Braggadocia, Mm -hmm. right? Where you talk a bunch of ish and then keeping it real, where, you know, you keep it 100. So him being frustrated, he's keeping it 100, and then, of course, he pops off in, you know, the braggadocia part and was like, yo, the threat came out or whatever you want to, however you want to call it. Yeah. So I'm not really like, oh, my God, Snoop. I'm like, I I know what this is. I get it. I, I just don't like him calling, like calling her a dog. Yeah, and a yeah, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. But am I surprised? That's nasty. No, you can't be surprised. Ain't no That's fun if the homies can't have none.